February is officially recognized across the country as Black History Month. But in Miami, Arizona, a proclamation aimed at getting that same recognition has generated some controversy. Our Elliot Polikoff takes a look at a town council meeting that took a pretty drastic turn. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. A routine start to the city of Miami's February 8th city council meeting, but not for long. There's a big... Uh, to do about the black community wanting to revise history and tear down all the monuments and uh, and not deal with the history and, and we're supposed to support Black History Month. It seems like there's kind of a contradiction in, in those two philosophies. Those comments by Councilman Don Ryman kicked off a unanimous decision to table Mayor Sammy Gonzalez's proclamation for February being Black History Month. All those in favor? Raise your right hand. A decision that the mayor is having a hard time understanding. Are you surprised at what they said or how they acted? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you know, we live in a diverse community here. You know, there's Hispanics. Um, there's, uh, of course, uh, white. There's um, African-Americans in this community. Um, most of them have grew and lived here their whole life. Mayor Gonzalez says his proclamation aimed to promote the history of black people in our country. But when read aloud, the council members had a different perspective on what they heard. I encourage all citizens to celebrate our diverse heritage and culture and continue our efforts to create a world that is more just, peaceful, and prosperous. Sounds political to me. The council members' decision to table the proclamation drew immediate criticism on social media with several questioning how this kind of thinking could still exist in 2021. Roy Tatum of the East Valley NAACP says part of the problem is thinking that history and politics are two separate concepts. I would say Black History Month is both historical, cultural, and political because we've, we've known that for political purposes, uh, Black people have been either been empowered or been marginalized. I did have a chance to speak to one of the Miami City Council members in this meeting. They did not want to be on camera, but they said the reason why they tabled the proclamation was so that they could allow Mayor Gonzalez to explain the proclamation in person. The only thing we know for sure now, though, is that unlike the city of Phoenix, where Mayor Kate Gallego has officially proclaimed February Black History Month, the city of Miami, their proclamation, it's going to have to wait at least a little longer to carry that same weight. Ellie Polikoff, Arizona's Family.